welcome to my new project. This project might not go particularly far, but it's going to be interesting nonetheless. This is an incredibly rotten, what looks to be Vauxhall Senator. And when I say incredibly rotten, we are talking biblical amounts of corrosion to the point where there is very little still attached to it in a number of places, uh, particularly the back. All of this is just gone. Even the roof pillars, that was me punching it earlier to see how rotten it is, but even the roof pillars have gone at the back, which is kind of unusual for a senator. I've seen it on Carlton's, but not really on senators. Uh, we have some very dubious repairs to that wheel arch. The back is particularly laughable. Uh, there's literally no strength in it whatsoever. And where the boot floor should be, and the slam panel, the tailgate, or the boot lid, that just isn't there. So, <clears throat> when I say this could be a project, more than likely, I'm just gonna pull the engine and box and bin the rest. The reason the box is important is cause this is a three litre 24 valve, but it's ex-police. So it doesn't have a sunroof. And most importantly for me, manual gearbox. The other reason you can tell it's police is it has calibrated speedo and the speedo goes up to 160 miles an hour. It has grey cloth trim, manual window winders, but more than anything else, it has rust, lots and lots of rust. The, I don't, that, that's the infill panel that all the police cars had, because what they'd have is a sunroof type headlining, but no actual sunroof. So all the Omegas, Carlton, Senators have that kind of infill panel, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to go round try and open all the doors and just check out how completely fucked this thing is and I mean it really is completely fucked the only way this thing will be saved realistically is a decade's worth of welding and it will be like a patchwork quilt at the end of that so that's not ideal or just transfer the running gear into something else but that's not really worth doing in my opinion because you end up with a Frankenstein car um, and it won't have any of the police history so yeah I don't know I'm, I might bin it I might keep it I don't know yet I am beginning to think I might keep it and restore it. I like a challenge. What is a priority though is finding a parts car because there's no way that I'm gonna be able to fabricate all of the intricate pieces for this that I'm gonna need. And although it would be a shame to take another one off the road, I think it's probably worth it with this one because I've never seen, well, I think I've seen one unmarked ex-police car in gray. It was a Merseyside traffic car, I think, or driver training car, but that's the only one I've ever seen, so I would like to preserve this one if possible. But anyway, it's starting to rain now, it's really cold. It's um, middle of December and it's really damp and shitty, so I'm gonna go home and research what parts are available. It's now December 14th, 2019, and it's a nice sunny day, and I'm feeling a little bit more optimistic, so I thought I'd pop down and have another look at the car. Uh, yes, it's very, very, very mouldy and rotten, and I still can't open more than just the driver's door. Um, but I thought I'd do some more poking. I've had a poke at the sill area, that's completely gone. And I'm not too familiar on how the rear suspension all attaches on these things yet. But it looks like most of that area is gone. Here we have boot floor. I know that this is a common spot, these vents just go. Uh, and you can buy that repair panel for Omegas and Senators, so that's not too difficult. I just wanted to have a look at the actual wheel wells and suspension structure, because I'm more concerned about suspension hard points than I am bodywork. And these tops both look okay, both sides, but I thought I'd excavate my way through the rest of the boot, get all these carpets up and have a look. So I shall do that and report back. I've right, got the carpets up, or what remained of the carpets. This is where 
the spare wheel sits. That is all good. Incidentally, I found the screwdriver, which is always helpful. All that structure there, that's all good. This is bad, I think. Well, I say bad. Um, can't actually go through there. What's less good is this. That's like a side panel. Um, but, you know, it's just a plate, so that's easy. I found this big, ugly looking bracket running right across there. And I'm guessing that's not voxel. There's also that weird, funny looking bracket over there. And again, I'm still learning about these cars, but um, in the Omega police car I had, it had something similar, and that was for a, um, a big sto st police like stowage locker thing. Uh, so it might be that this, you know, is similar. I think that big lump of iron there is for the tow bar, and that has just caused the whole rear panel of the car to rot out. Oh, look, a nice sock. That's good. Mmm, tasty. Yeah, so I'm going to continue poking. This is some sort of bitumous sound deadening pad, but that's all going to have to come out anyway. So I'm going to continue picking. Oh, that is satisfying. That's very different to working on rovers where it's really, really well bonded on and you can't get it off unless you smash it with a hammer on a very cold day. I think this is just another indication of, oh, that's not good. I think got rust around where that plastic hole went. Uh, that feels solid, but I've got no idea what's going on out. Sorry, going on on the underside because that, of course, is where the fuel tank is. And I think that's a bit of a, a rust trap. So I'll continue poking. Some fairly satisfying pokage later. Most of that sound deadening stuff is up. That rear deck, from the top side at least, appears quite good. This side has gone, so that's not so bad. Um, this in our wing section there's rather more of that surviving than looked at first from the outside all that bottom bit is good and it still has the return flange on it there so as though it's oh sorry although it's very very satisfying just poking holes in rust i'm going to leave that for the moment because if i do decide to restore the car that will be a nice datum to have and i can build the boot floor up to that and then build that down onto it so i'm not going to poke all that off although i kind of really want to arch and wheel wells perfect suspension tops perfect the boot lid actually is really good there's a couple of scabs on it but nothing too bad so i'm getting a better picture of what needs to be done in the back interestingly the only thing holding the whole tailgate shut was that earth for the tow bar electrics i presume it's tow bar it could be more police stuff i really don't know there's lots of gubbins going on and some sort of relay over there that's been unplugged yeah so uh, actually what looked incredibly scary looks less scary which is good so i haven't committed to restoring this car i'm still at the investigation stage uh trying to work out whether this is a parts donor or whether it's a viable restoration proposition when i say viable restoration proposition i don't mean you'll make money off it I mean, can I be bothered to put the work in to make a semi-decent car? And can I do it without it being a complete hodgepodge of patch welds? Um, this whole area is gone, but the actual main structure of the wing is good. Got a wheel lip repair in there, which I'll pick off. Uh, but all Senators Carlton's are probably going to need work in that area anyway. So that doesn't really bother me. Any Senator that I could have bought would be like that, and I'd be having to either fabricate that wheel arch lip I mean that is a horror show actually um, or uh, yeah buy one of the pattern parts you can still get off the internet they're really expensive and apparently they don't fit so well so yeah it, it's any Senator Carlton you're going to be struggling in that area we have very well developed corrosion in here at the rear ends of the sills obvious I think that's the remains of an old patch repair. A lot of this car has been welded previously. You can see the seams of the weld, but the weld, or the metal that was actually either side, has disappeared. So um, the backstory to this car, or I was told by the guy who got it, 
was that it was in a farmer's field and he'd been trying to buy it for ages and ages and ages and the farmer just kept saying no 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 I'll restore it or words to that effect and of course he didn't and it just sat in a shitty field going green and returning to the earth so yeah I wish I brought a jack with me today but I didn't so I'm not going to be able to have a proper look underneath back at the front of the car again I found on eBay a guy in Germany selling this whole front upper panel for not silly money genuine v uh, GM part so I came to have a look at this and see how frilly it is uh, it's all surf well it's not surface there are some nasty bits but in a weird way I'm not sure I can be bothered if I was to do this car to chop that bit out I could probably just repair it I don't know it's one of those bits you see right at the front of the car when you open the bonnet so to have that done nicely would make a big difference um, originally I thought this lot was to do with police sirens or lights or something but apparently that's the horn mountings and standard tall senators this bit down here I've no idea what shape it should have been it's just so completely bollocks um, but I'd imagine that gets a lot of uh, abuse from the salty roads so there probably aren't many donor cars where I could chop that out of this whole structure gone that bit there is very very frilly I'll have to look on the internet again because if that bit comes on the uh, repair panel that I'm interested in I might buy it uh, even if I don't use it on this car it's probably not going to go down in value so even if I didn't use it it might be worth buying it now we can inner wings I've seen lots of repair threads on Senators and Coltons and how this just disappears to nothing which it appears to have done I'd rather not have a big ugly plate that is probably I don't know mill and a half two mil thick steel it's not completely gone I was expecting the screwdriver to go straight through there, and it hasn't. That's a surprise. A lot of the rust is actually behind these wings, up in here. Yeah, I've still got all these plastic arch liners in, so I can't really tell what's going on there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the camera down and poke some more. I couldn't get into that arch liner area, so I've given up for the moment. What I have done is taken the battery out to find sharp metal obviously but um not very much at all remaining of the original battery tray uh that sits um on top of the in inner wing down here that's sort of spot welded down onto it but really it ain't there and there ain't a lot of wing underneath it either Very frilly indeed. Interesting wiring. Hmm. Oh. Don't know what that was for. Uh, maybe police. Don't know. And then down. What's that in there? other than a hole some kind of reservoir -y, tanky thing don't know pass or something to google later washer bottle where that bolts in that's kind of got a hole um i've seen other coltons and senators that box section down there goes into the moment that doesn't look so bad in fact, actually, the structure of that corner looks pretty good. Let's have a look in this one. It's still got the plastics. You can just see. Yeah. That doesn't look so sad. That's all pretty good. 
sometimes it's, oh there we go, that's more like what I was expecting. I was going to say sometimes this underseal holds a whole world of hurt because it's rubberized so it appears good on the top surface but when you actually get in there needs a bit more love than the other side. We are now in the driver's footwell area and I've been giving it some liberal pokage with the screwdriver. We've gone, well I've gone through the floor there. It's a bit of a strange design and I can't work out what goes on but it looks like the, the footwell floor pressing comes up and over some kind of chassis rail or boxing that goes under the floor over towards the transmission tunnel and it's rotted out there and it's also gone in that front corner but what I didn't expect is this whole area here even though that's sound deadening and that always looks nice from the surface if you whack that with the screwdriver it doesn't go through so we might have some more floor there than I had initially anticipated uh, very rotten through here as you might expect there ain't a lot of sill left probably oh, oh okay no we still got inner sill don't really care about that bit because that can all just come out and be replaced with the sill itself a bit of trim I don't know how that comes off so we've got some kind of inner sill stiffener there the bottom of which is gone and then really you got a rat's nest of shite in there that second stiffener looks like it's more or less there all the way through which is good to see so hopefully that's just an outer sill section all the way along um yeah i don't know whether it's just because it's a sunny day but i'm starting to feel a little bit more optimistic about this car than i was i still won't be able to make a full decision on its long-term future until i've actually kind of committed to stripping it down to a shell but if I had been really scared, I would have not even bothered stripping it to a shell. I would have just taken the engine and box out. But I think I'll probably get it home, take the engine and box out, and then continue stripping it and just see what it actually looks like with all the panels out of the way. I think these doors are going to be problematic. That lower skin has gone, but it's also gone up there too. This door actually seems relatively rot free apart from that bit let's go and have a look at the other side okay rear door's gone front door bottom corner's gone i can't really see what the frames are like until i can open them and i still can't open them so yeah annoying i attempt to show you what i've discovered I don't know whether you'll be able to see what's going on clearly. We have outer sill, a bead of weld, which is just hanging in free air, as I showed you earlier. This, um, where is it? Reinforcer, I think, for the rear suspension mount. That's the semi training arm coming in. And you've got a bushing there. That is all big chunky steel and it ain't in the best of condition but it's not rotted off either and then where is it over here we have the rear of the, the cabin floor and that's cabin carpet uh that's what i would call the heel board which as i poke with a screwdriver actually feels quite good but what's encouraging is where is it Somewhere I found a chassis rail that ran up and over the wheel arch or the rear rear axle and it oh yeah here it is. Uh, I don't know whether you'll be able to see that, but basically that's all solid and that's one key area that I was worried about. I think there must be some cat shit around here because it fucking stinks. 